as some of you already know, I had planned to go to Mexico in April. Maybe you're thinking, so what? That's just down there. Yeah, but not for me, mate, because I'm from here. Sally me, dreaming. Getting to Mexico meant that I first had to go to Sydney, and then from Sydney to Auckland in a wakararangi, that's a canoe of the sky. Inferior people who don't speak Maori, like myself, would know it as a plane. And then from Auckland to San Francisco over a sh load of water, like just an inappropriately large amount of water. With the only consolation being that my son Felix and I got to nerd out over the plane going more than 1,000 kilometers an hour. I mean, we were going there for a robotics tournament. What do you expect us to be like? drinking too much and causing a ruckus? No. And because most of the movies are available in multiple languages, including Spanish, I looked for the movies that I can't normally find in Spanish on the normal streaming platforms. I settled on The Prestige because it's a masterpiece, and Baby Driver because the opening scene is a masterpiece. Although I did realize after I started that there is no Spanish in that scene because no one actually talks, but still. We landed in San Francisco one second after we left Sydney, and yes, that is a prestige reference. 50 yards in a second! In a second! But it's also actually true, and then we made our way to San Jose, the home of fellow 59k sub YouTuber Eric Wen, and like an idiot, or maybe a genius, I didn't catch up with him straight away. More on whether that was stupid or maybe smart later. First we had to head back up to San Francisco to see this bridge. No, not that one, the big, the big one, get the big one. No, that one's in Sweden. There you go, that one. Very big, very, very red, nice bridge, lots of rivets. The guy doing this has to have been getting paid per rivet, right? More touristy stuff because, yeah, it's San Francisco, we're not from there. Woo, yeah, let's San Francisco. <laughs> And the next day, the Californian Redwood Forest. I did go into this tree, hoping to come out in 1990. Let me know if you get that reference. But sadly, no. Unless we are talking about the quality of coffee in America, which very much makes me think that it's 1990. It was still 2023. So there was a lot of stuff to fill up the first few days. So to try to catch up with Eric, I decided to wait until the robotics tournament had started because I figured there'd be more time then. And there was more time for my infection to kick in. Yep, Felix and I both got sick and missed essentially the whole Silicon Valley tournament because we were isolating. It wasn't COVID, but it was something infectious with a pretty obvious fever that you don't want to give to 40 people who have just spent all their money to be on the other side of the world for three weeks. So sadly, firstly, Felix missed out on the tournament and although we were staying literally walking distance from Eric, I didn't get to meet him Although that may have been a good thing, because I was probably infectious from the day I got off the plane, so at least I, he didn't get sick. Instead, Felix and I hung out in our room, and I ate a lot of Reese's chocolate, because it's about a third of the price in the USA. And because of the coffee situation there, that being that it's twice the price that it is in Australia and still sucks, more on that in another video. I treated my not insubstantial caffeine withdrawals with what we call paracetamol, and you guys call however you pronounce this what, which we both needed for the fever anyway, and in the mornings I would take a decongestant, which has a very small amount of pseudoephedrine in it, and finally we moderated our jet lag with melatonin, which is available on the shelf in the USA. Thank you, USA. So basically for those four days I lived like, and maybe even became, to a small degree, an addict. I was just eating chocolate, and I was on a battery of pills, the rubbish from which was just filling up our room. And I was doing all this in an attempt to be well enough to go to Mexico. <laughs> Not sus at all. While we were isolating, the team was at San Jose State University competing and took out the most prestigious award of the competition, the Impact Award. Obviously, it was a bit of a bummer not to be there, but at least the rest of the team didn't get sick and were able to enjoy the moment. I was also unable to see my sister, who lives in the USA, but uh, thankfully with enough unnatural substances in my veins, I felt well enough on one of the days to walk to USPS, which was three miles away, in order to post her an absolute bonanza of Australian snacks and books and stuff that you can't get in the USA. And yeah, with a very full backpack, that is a solid walk. Walk, especially when you're in rehab and you've got a temperature. But at the risk of sounding like a complete freak, this was so much fun. I'm not exactly sure why, but I think it became like a mission to accomplish because it really did have to be done. Either I walked to the post office that day and got it sent off like it was supposed to be, or we started just giving it to people on the street because 
Even I couldn't put away that many Tim Tams and that should give you an idea of just how many Tim Tams it was. So day zero rolls around. I'm supposed to be flying out to Mexico that night. Thankfully by then I was feeling perfect which had been worrying me because I was meant to be staying with Ben in Mexico and I didn't want to thank him by giving him the New Zealand bovine flu or whatever it was I had. But still worrying me was Felix because he was not recovering as quickly and in the team's rules kids aren't meant to be left alone like in a house by themselves which is totally fair enough but that's also awkward if that kid is meant to be isolated. On top of that, in a few days time, he was due to go in a minibus for five hours all the way to LA and to Disneyland, which is of course a great place to go if you've got a virus. And I was about to make all of that the team's problem by leaving the country. Shout out to the coaches for not kicking up a stink about that. I got to go to Mexico where some things went well and other things, are gonna be in other videos. Praise be to God, Felix was feeling better by Monday. He got to go to Disneyland. Space Mountain was supposed to be closed, but was in fact open, and it sounds like he enjoyed it as much as I did when I was in California when I was five. Seriously, that's one of the only things I remember from that trip to California. I mean the one when I was five, not this one. This one I don't remember because I was doped out of my mind. So Mexico was a full schedule of eating and walking and looking for books and talking to Mr. Salas and don't worry, videos on all of this stuff are coming. This is just an overview so that you know where I've been and what to expect in the near future. Getting out of Mexico was tricky. All the things that could have been a problem were a problem. Getting to the right airport, problem. Not being arrested at the bookshop, problem. My Australian passport, problem. Luggage, problem. And that's just leaving. I'm not yet ready to talk about some of the stuff that actually went down in Mexico. Not ready. But finally, back in the USA, Houston this time for the Robotics World Championships. Houston was a happier time for us because neither of us were sick. We got to go to the baseball, which was freaking awesome. And the robotics competition itself was just really, really cool. The team didn't win the same award that they won in Silicon Valley, but they were nominated as finalists, which at a competition that big is still a massive deal and it means automatic qualification for next year. Shirt swapping is a big thing among the competitors and the different team shirts at these events, and I did not care about that until I saw this shirt. Damn, now I know to you it just looks like a uniform shirt, but trust me, this team shirt makes a mockery of all the other team shirts, especially when you look at where they're from. It's literally the desert. As it says on the back, victory goes beyond winning. Exactly, victory is having this shirt. But alas, no, a couple of things got in the way of my ability to trade the shirt. One, that team is not allowed to trade shirts. Two, you'll be surprised to learn that not many Mexican teenagers are my size. And three, I didn't even have a shirt to trade with anyone to start with. My first trade was made with a flimsy, cheap ass $2 store Australian flag for this shirt, which admittedly isn't an amazing design, but I still think it's an upgrade. It's got a plane on it. By this stage, I was out of Tim Tams and other goodies, but had I have known that A, Tim Tams have immense trading power, and B, there were shirts this cool, I'd have brought more. That's right, I'd have brought more of the items that already accounted for more than half my luggage by weight, and no, I am not joking. So this is a message to Team 3478. Next time I come to Mexico, I would like one of those shirts in an extra large. I have Tim Tams galore, and experience smuggling them over the border. Name your price. So that was an extremely rough summarization of the entire trip. This video actually started as something totally different, but I kind of got distracted. And I also thought that people might appreciate a kind of overview of where I went and what I did, etc., so that we can get into the nitty gritty of what I actually learned in Mexico and what I learned in the US about trying to buy good coffee. Mainly I learned that. The search was in vain. If you'd like to be a part of the Tim Tam crowd, you can do that by subscribing. If you want to be a member of the Tim Tam cartel, you can do that by becoming a channel member where you get access to extra videos and some YouTube stickers and other stuff that I make. Plus, you can say that you're a member of the DFNS Tim Tam cartel, which just sounds badass. And I just want to thank everyone who has supported me on Patreon or through those YouTube channel memberships. It means a lot. It helps me keep making these videos. I'll make another one soon for you guys. Bye.